Do you want to place your bets now? Am I going to go tumbling down this hill? I would say it's likely. This is fine. No, it's not. I'm going to be so sad if we get really close and then have to tap out. We're going to use all of our fuel. That's it. We have 22 left. If we can't cross the river here, we are going to be toast. There's no way we get this, right? I'm so nervous right now with the fuel. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Expeditions of Mudrunner game. Today, we're taking a crack at the Water is Life challenge. This is on the Carpathians map. It doesn't say what vehicle it recommends, so we are going to take our Con Marshal. We do have our upgraded gearbox today, so we're going to try that out. I have also been a big spender. We have maxed out our team with a hydrologist, a logistician, that's a hard one to say, and an operator. I know this is an easy mission, but these are like gadgets. Even though they don't come with you on your trip, the amenities they give you, it's worth it. So we are going to take them with us. If we get this completed, we receive 7,500 in payment and maybe there will be some goodies. I'm hoping for an upgrade, maybe some money. Let's find out and deploy. I changed the paint job on my con marshal. I was going for something really wild. I think I have succeeded. I think it's the gaudiest paint job you can get. But hey, it's good fun. Let's just make our way through there. I think we can go directly there. Get to the descent from the ridge. Okay, start her up. This is such a fun map to explore. I haven't even done any missions in the desert yet, just because I'm enjoying this so much. Okay, we have a little drop off here. Let's see if we take damage. No, really thought we would. The lake we need to study is close. Be careful on the shoreline. Let's see how far we need to go. For some reason, I was thinking we had already been down here. I feel like this is the perfect paint job if you don't want to lose your car in a parking lot in a sea of white and black vehicles. <sighs> Haven't we been here already? This lake looks familiar. We need to scan the fish pond with an echo sounder. I think the reason I thought we had already been here is that I have done this mission on my other save file. The one that I play on my own. The trick to this one is figuring out where the fish are going to go. See, I got one. Now I'm just going to try to stay ahead of this fish's path. Oh, that does skipped. This one should hit. Yes. And then I think we need to do it one more time. Maybe not. Successful first try. It doesn't really tell you what to do on this one. But since I've already played it once, I knew what to do, thankfully. That is completed. And now we need to go to the swamp and take a water sample. Now, where is the swamp? way over there. Okay, we did a little bit of damage here. I just don't want to go rolling down the hill. Let's use our winch and get over this. I don't like the looks of it. Honestly, the whole thing looks sketchy. Do you want to place your bets now? Am I going to go tumbling down this hill? I would say it's likely. Saved it. No, no, nice and easy. Slow and steady is winning this race. This is, this is where I needed to go. We had something to get for the mission. Stage completed. Now where do we need to go? All the way up there. What is going to be the smart way to go? The smart way or the fun way? This looks a little iffy. A little bit iffy to get out. Do we have a winch point? We do. That's the nice thing about this map. There are so many winch points. Oh, do you see that kayak? I'm curious now. This is how you get into trouble. Going the wrong way. I kind of want to know, can we 
back her up onto the ship. I just think that looks kind of cool. This must be part of another mission. We're going to go on the boat to a different region, but not today. However, since we are here, let's get our binoculars out because yes, see? I was here in my other game. We've discovered a new Ford and you get points for that. You get some money too. I guess we'll dismount the boat. And let's go to our main destination. That looks a little deep. Oh, see, I almost went through there. This could have been really bad. No. We will go this way. No problem. How cool is this shot? I love it. It's so bright and happy. We are going to take this photo. Save it. Start scanning. We have to scan for more fish, just like we did before. I think... Mm, right here. Got a hit. Right here. Another hit. Oh, we finished it. That was way too fast. We did get a bonus for not flipping our vehicle. We didn't flip at all, surprisingly. And we took just a tiny bit of damage. So we got a decent amount. Let's see, our rewards total 10,000. Not bad. We have our water sample and our anchors. We're not done yet. At the very least, we're gonna go back to our outpost and try to store or recycle some items. But let's continue and see if there's anything else we can find before we leave. What is this? Illegal logging. Do we dare see if we can go and do illegal logging up here? It's not that far away. Let's map a path. That could be a little bit tricky to get down here, but why not? Don't have much to lose. Let's see if we can get there. That is going to be a rather tight squeeze. Is this the only way for us to go? We're gonna try this. I mean, we could always try left. We got a little tiny vehicle. I would not probably be able to make this if I had the Tuz. I think we can do it. There's a big old tree right there. There are trees everywhere. Down this, oh, oh, that. That is a big, that's a big drop. Um, you know what? I think going left, this might be a really bad idea. Yeah. Here is the quest, illegal logging. We've had reports of logging in the reserve. Obviously this practice is illegal regardless of the size of the tree. If you find tree stumps or other signs of logging, Mark them and we will alert the rangers. We get 7,800 if we complete this. Mark the first logging site with a light beacon. So we have three light beacons to place. I mean, let's try it. Do we have the light beacons? I'm wondering if we need to get the light beacons, maybe from an outpost. I honestly don't know. We do have one light beacon here. We can take two. It's going to cost us our entire profit to build a warehouse, but I think it would benefit us. So let's go ahead and build that. And now that we have spent so much money, let's store our anchor in here. We can add our anchor to our inventory and then go over here and get our third beacon. So we now have all three beacons plus our expedition item here that we probably still need to keep because we are still in it. I think we have to go back to where we were and place a light beacon here. And then we have to go all the way up here and here and we cannot recover anymore for free because we've already done that. I also don't know what these little eyeballs are here. They're saying dugouts, but that was here at the beginning of the mission when we didn't have this yet. So I think we need to go back through here. Why am I so low on fuel? We're going to have to use it all. I don't want to run out, but I don't know. How can we have used so much fuel? That seems very suspicious. We didn't go that far. I will say, and maybe this is just me because I have not played a ton of SnowRunner and I never did play Mudrunner, but 
some of these tasks, I feel like they could use a bit more explanation. A little bit more hand-holding. Maybe that's just me. And we are back to where we were before. Deliver supplies. Why does it say we don't have a light beacon? What? I thought I had three light beacons. It shows I have two light beacons. Cannot be used from inventory. But wait a minute. Look at the tasks we have to do at the top right. Maybe we didn't actually have to have the beacon. This might have discounted for us. I'm so confused. Then why do we have the light beacons? Somebody please explain this to me. I know somebody watching will have done this and will have way more knowledge and expertise than I. Well, we're just going to go to the next one then. Let's just plot this out. But the problem is we have to find a good way up there. Let's go a different way. Can we make it up this crazy area and go back? Do you see how much better that looked on the map? We're climbing up the tree, okay. You know what, it looks like this gearbox has Diffy Lock and all-wheel drive on all the time. Which is probably why I can navigate this so easily, but it's also probably why I had no fuel left in my main tank after the first expedition. You see that gauge over there on the bottom left. We might not have enough to get this done. Let's go into right here. We are going to, that's all we have, 24 gallons and I cannot turn off my all wheel drive or my diffy lock, see? So this is probably not the best vehicle for the task. That seems to be my MO though. This looks deep, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna use our little echo sounder. It says it's green. We have the hydrologist. We have a very low snorkel. We're gonna try it. We have a winch point, so that will be a benefit for us. Logging site two, deliver supplies. It's working. I'm not really delivering anything but it's working. And then our final site is going to be way up there. This is going to be the iffy spot. Let's get our binoculars out. Just double check that we don't see anything. Wait a minute, we have an upgrade. Well, now I'm torn. We do have an airdrop south. And then our upgrade is east southeast. But it doesn't show us on our map, does it? Why does he keep going back there? I want it to center. Wait a minute. We ha we do have that. Okay. Wait a minute. I think we're going to have to let this upgrade go to another episode. Another day. Because that is way up there. That's going to take a lot of fuel and finagling to get to. That does not look easy. And the airdrop's way in the other direction. So for now, let's just see if we can get this task done. We may have already wasted too much fuel. We shall see. I really thought the Con Marshal would be better on fuel. I think this was just not the right gearbox for the job. I mean, we did the mission, don't get me wrong, but... I just got greedy wanting to do this extra task. Whoa, okay, let's plan this a little bit better here. I think we need to keep going if we can get through. This is really thick here. But I think staying up here is gonna be a better move than going down there. Oh gosh, I can't tell if this is a drop or not. Oh shoot, uh, yeah. We're gonna. I mean, the alternative was to drop down. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? Way over there. I think we need to get to the shore. Okay, we got out of that little tight spot there, but we are backing down a, a very steep. Okay, you know what? We are winching down this, and I am blindly going 
<sighs> All right. Extended winch. This might be really stupid. This is this is fine. This is fine. No, it's not. It could be better. Will this work? Yes, but it is not going to turn us the way we want to go. We are completely wedged in here now. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to try another one. And you know what? Foolishly, we got rid of our anchors. So this is, we're just going to have to tumble down. There we go. That's how we do it. Yes, 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 yes. No! <laughs> um, can we just pull ourselves a little bit more? Yeah, just pull it all the way down. There's no way you could take the big vehicles down here. The tuz, the step, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's look at the map. Can we even make it at this point with the amount of fuel we have left? Why won't it center on where I am when I pull up the map? That is so annoying. If we can get down to the shore, we might be able to make this. And this might be really deep down here. And this might tip us. Come on, come on. Let's change our tire pressure. That is really deep. I feel like I'm in a paddle boat. We have less than half fuel now, and I think I only have three gallons in our reserve. Dumb ways to die. Right? Oh, that is that is not a good idea to go up there. Nope. No, we will not be going wading in that. Not in this little guy. We're going to be trying to go up here. That's really deep there. We cannot go in that. This is horrible. This is really bad. Oh my gosh, this is really stupid too. Oof. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Let's just see if we can back up a bit. No. Can we turn this around? We are almost in the red as far as fuel goes. I think if we went from there, back it up. No, not what we wanted. Come on. Alright, I think we are through the worst of it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. How deep is this water? No. Green. We have to hurry. Look at our fuel. I'm gonna be so sad if we get really close and then have to tap out. I think fording here This looks like a good place to flip. Come on. I didn't even check how deep this was. And yeah, there's rapids. It can't be that deep, right? Oh, I need some calming music. All right, we're going to park it. Turn off our engine. Gosh, there's hardly any fuel left. <sighs> We are so close. Look at this. We just have to find a way to ford the river. Why? Why did I cross the river? If we can't cross the river here, we are gonna to be toast. We're going to use all of our fuel. Here we go. Here's our reserve. That's it. We have 22 left. It's barely enough to keep us out of the red. I'm afraid to try this. There's no way we get this, right? We're gonna try it. This is probably a really bad idea. We did find a winch point. Come on, you got this. This is red and orange deepness. Okay, so far so good. Now we just have to do it one more time. Winch point 
Hallelujah. Thank goodness for the trees. Oh, <laughs> I'm pulling. Okay. Look at our fuel. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's change our tire pressure. Um, back up. I'm so nervous right now with the fuel. Whoa. I, I didn't mean to do that. It's right up here. Right through here. It's right here. Come on, come on, just a little bit more. Deliver supplies. Oh my gosh. This game normally is so relaxing, but that was not. We have completed the illegal logging task as well as our regular mission, and I am so happy about it. Let's just see what all we get. We are going to finish it. Return to headquarters, yeah. We have like no fuel left. 17.3 is what we cleared. Plus we added our module so we can store more things in our inventory here at that outpost. Whew, that was, that was a nail biter. I don't know about you, but I was on the edge of my seat. I did not think we were going to do it. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like expeditions and other sim and survival games, please consider subscribing. If you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment down below. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.